Scopes and Bodies. Two related but distinct ideas are bodies and scopes. Programs have both bodies and scopes, and so do functions. But scopes and bodies are not the same thing. Bodies describe a region of code based on indentation. Scopes describe a region of code where variables exist or do not exist. Usually, scopes are a subset of the bodies of a program. Programs are organized into lines called statements. Every program has at least one body, which is the main global body. Programs can have additional bodies, too, through indentation. The statements inside of a function are indent indented, meaning they have four spaces in front of them. These spaces are not just to help make the program more readable. They have a strict influence on the syntactic correctness of the program. Improper number of spaces, or blocks being indented in the wrong places, is a common source of syntax errors. Eventually, we will learn different ways that bodies can be used, but for now, they are almost one-to-one -one with scopes. In a program, the scope of a variable indicates how long that variable is available. This is also known as the lifetime or visibility of a variable. When a variable is no longer in scope, that variable is no longer available. Variables defined at the top level are known as global variables. Once a variable is defined, it is available on subsequent lines. That variable lives until the end of the program. In the program shown here, the grade variable starts its life on the second line and is available until the end of the program. Each function has its own local scope. Variables defined as parameters or within functions live until the function ends. These are local variables. Variables defined in one function are not available outside the function. This simplifies the reading of any function. You only need to worry about things defined in the function itself. In the program shown here, the local variables are grade, weight, curved, and final, because they are all defined inside the body of the function or as parameters. On the other hand, the myGrade and the weight variables are global variables. Functions return values, not variables. That is so important, I'm going to say it again. Functions return values, not variables. A variable has a value, so when you write statements like the one shown on the third line, you are returning the variable's value, not the variable itself. When the program reaches that line, the variable expression is evaluated for its value, which is then returned. The variable disappears after the function ends, so returning the value is the only way to make that value available outside of the function. The grade variable has no existence or meaning outside of the function. Beginners will sometimes try to reuse a variable name. Any global variables with the same name are actually unrelated to the variable inside the function. On this slide, I have drawn squares around local variables and circles around global variables. The variable total is a global in some places and a different local variable in others. Those two variables just happen to have the same name, but they are not the same variable as far as Python is concerned. It is technically possible to read a global variable inside a function. However, you must be careful when doing so. Every time you refer to global variables, your program becomes more complicated, and you have to think about multiple levels of scope. In this code example shown here, the unit test would fail if we swapped the order of the last two lines. This may work out OK in smaller programs, but it causes huge problems as you start writing longer programs. Whenever you feel the urge to use a global variable, stop and reconsider. The only exception is if you are 100% certain that the global variable's value will stay constant and never change. We call these global constants, and unlike global variables, they're actually a great idea that can dramatically improve the readability of code. Here is a simple pair of rules for working with scope. First, variables defined inside a local scope should not be used outside that scope. Second, variables outside a local scope 
should not be used inside that scope. Keeping these two rules in mind will avoid many headaches. At any time, you should be able to look at any program and determine if variables are inside or outside of a function's scope, and whether that is appropriate for that variable.